Hello traders, welcome to another video where we learn how to day trade using price action. Now I've got a few setups prepared that I want to talk about specifically, a little trickier ones. But let's first talk about today and how we started. So let's go from the very beginning. And the very first thing that we need to do as traders before we start trading, we want to do our pre-market analysis because we don't want to jump into trades we are unsure of. And today started with the downtrend looking structure. How do we know this is a downtrend? Because we are making series of lower highs and lower lows and prices for the most part below EMA. So this is a downtrend and we need to draw our trend lines because there is a, always some sort of structure, some sort of pattern. Market just doesn't move randomly on the chart. Okay, and this is the pattern that you guys can see how nicely it fits off the lows, how, how nicely it fits off the highs and price really fits neatly inside of this channel. Now we draw these channels because we want to follow the trend line rules. And trend line rule says after price will break the trend line, like right here, this is the first break, traders will attempt to create a new extreme. So when you see a break of a trend line, you're not starting to counter trend trade. You wait patiently for traders to attempt at least to create an attempt of a new extreme. So you guys have a break, price form a new extreme. And from this point on, we consider this downtrend to be over. We now expect correction or possibly straight up reversal. Okay, so once we have a break in a new extreme and this is the new low, you guys can see the price is working higher and this is the first short, first attempt by the bears to sell the market. It failed and this is the second attempt by the bears to sell the market. Two legged pullbacks, I high probability setups with the trend and in this instance it is against the trend. This is a reversal pattern because the downtrend played out with the break and a new low. So people who are going short, they're going short way too late. They're not paying attention to the trend line and this is a reversal pattern. So this is the first high probability setup. It closed above the EMA and market pushed higher. And you guys can see there is a new high and there is a first entry long pullback, second entry long. But this signal bar is extremely big. But take a look what is happening. Price is holding above the EMA and overall we're coming from the lows. So then you have additional high low setup nice bullish reversal bar you close once again above the ema this is a continuation of this second entry long because this second entry long hasn't made a scalpers profit yet and this is an, another great entry me when i was personally watching this and this was still a little bit too early to trade and i was paying more attention to the overall downtrend because it felt that this is starting to look like a trading range and i was expecting for price to sell and take a look what happened we talked about the trend line rules and you guys can see you have a trend trend line you have a break and what you have you have a two legs to a new extreme so in this instance uptrend played out and this is where i found the resistance because as you guys can see not only the downtrend played out we are also swinging up down up through the ema ema is starting to get flat it's no longer below uh, it's pointing lower like this it's starting to get flat and this is looking like a trading range so you have a double top right here you have a little bit support and resistance right here so this is a clear trading range and then this point on you have to switch to trading range rules and you the way you trade ranges you sell the highs so you can buy back your position lower and create the profit and you buy the lows so you can sell your position back high you can make profit on the difference okay you mostly want to avoid trading in the middle of trading ranges it's starting to get a little bit dangerous when you're trading in the middle and this was a big bearish bar after uptrend played out with the two legs to new extreme and resistance is holding this bar is unfortunately way too big for us to enter but according to trend line according to trading range rules if you follow the trading range if you follow the trend lines you guys can see that this is nothing too complicated a market push lower and this was the first trade that i wanted to take and i dropped my limit order i didn't get filled here on my eight tick scalp it would have worked easily and you guys can see this is a very steep move down and this is a shortened trend line you may be wondering why am i pulling the trigger here when you don't have a break and a new low yet. Isn't this too premature here? And I'm going to explain what I was looking at because take a look guys, one, two, three, four big bearish bars. And this is another felt breakout. Now, this is a very steep move. This is looking very close to 90 degree angle move. And I, as I just mentioned in the previous videos, these steep 90 degree moves, they're not long-term sustainable and they will get reversed fairly quickly. There's going to be pullback. And especially after downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme. So you know you're no longer uh, going to push lower below this support. This is now a clear trading range. So the way this was so steep, uh, I kind of through experience figured out that this pattern really works nicely. Had there been, had there been a few bullish bars, few bullish, 
bullish corrections, I would not take in this entry. I only took this entry because it was very steep and very 90 degree angle. And a lot of times if this pattern happens in the short and trading ranges. So if there is some one or two bullish bar corrections and it's not so steep, then I wouldn't take this entry right here. OK, so just a little nugget. And if you're a beginner trader, you want to uh, stay away from this because you want to wait for the safer entry. You want to wait for trend line rules to play out and mark price action works like a clockwork. You have a break. What do you have? New extreme. You're below the support. This is a failed breakout. Most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. And this is a good long because you're buying low. And this is how you want to trade your trading ranges and market took off. You have a higher low setup right here, but now you already move way too high up. You're in the middle of trading range. And then you have a first entry short, a second entry short failure. This was quite tempting, but this bar is once again way too big because your stop loss has to go below here. So you can enter this only with the limit order. But me personally, I didn't want to enter such a big bar like here. But take a look what happened. You're playing the training range rules and you're coming off to lows. So you're doing everything correctly. OK, a market for whatever reason I took off and I was expecting some correction right here. And it didn't happen. Market just took off and kept working higher, kept working higher. So this was the first trend line that you have. And you guys can see you have a break and you just have a massive move to a new extreme. So you probably know that this trend line is not the one and you have to redraw this trend line. So you have a break, new extreme. But by this time, take a look how far away you moved from this trending range. And not only that, you're coming from the very low of the day. So there is some bullish momentum being generated in the market because you're coming from the fill breakout very low of the day and you slice through this resistance like it's not even there. So at this point on, you move too far above the trading range. I mean, the scalp still. Let me see if the scalp would have worked. Let's see you enter here. 75, 75. No, the scalp would have would not have worked. Uh, you would have gotten burned here uh, if you took this fell breakout uh, not a bad entry because you have a break in a new extreme and you could have pulled the trigger here so so uh, definitely uh, you had a, quite a good idea but the way there is no resistance here at all you guys can see there's always some sort of resistance uh, support here there's no resistance and you already move way too high up this is looking way too bullish uh, it's starting to look like there's some bigger pattern I didn't really want to go short at this point. I was about to go short somewhere around here if we have a break in a new extreme, but it didn't happen. So at this point on, once market keep, keeps making new highs, new highs, you have to switch the gears. At this point on, we have to abandon the trading range because we move way above it. OK, and there is a if you guys take a look, you have a uptrend working higher. You have a break, new extreme, another break, another new extreme, another break, another new extreme. And when you see this, price making new extremes and new extremes, there is almost always a bigger pattern in play. And one trader took a short here because he looked at it as a new high, first entry long, little pullback, second entry long failure, and he went short. And I'm going to explain why I was looking to go long. First of all, uh, this uptrend had multiple breaks and multiple new extremes. So this is the first indication that this is a part of a bigger pattern. Also, this first, this was the first trend line and it had a break, new extreme, and this bullish move was so strong that we have to create additional trend line. So this already indicates a little bit more of a bullish momentum. Plus it overall feels like you guys see these first two swings. This will a lot of times generate the trend line. That there is some bigger pattern in play and we're coming off the higher side. So I really don't like going short here because this is looking way too bullish at this point on. It really feels like we're part of some bigger pattern. And at this point on, I was looking to go long because you, you guys can see uh, it trapped the shorts, but the signal bar on this was this horrible doji. So we cannot go long above this. We want to see some nice confirmation. And by this time, you get this bar. EMA is completely flat. A lot of bars going sideways. And, you know, you're quite taking a chance here. So this is not a bad entry. It worked. But um, uh, once this bar ended horribly, I didn't re-enter on this one. And to be honest with you, I was looking at maybe a trend line something like this this was the trend line i was looking at and we broke lower okay and once we broke lower i was quite surprised because the price action was starting to get very hard to read at this point on because what do we expect do we have a two-tier trading range that we want to uh, play this as a trading range or do we have a bigger pattern and once price push all the way down here and bounce off this low this is where i drew this trend line and this is what i had initially this is why I'm focusing the entire time. And you guys can see we quickly pushed below it, which negated this trend line as I and I was really whoops. And I was 
really hold on i'm deleting all the uh, markers here and i was very confused here because i was really convinced there's some bigger uptrend and since the trend line got broken here uh, they kind of caught me off guard and it ended up being just slightly lower which made me not take neither of these trades and which was a mistake because as you guys can see you have a dungeon working lower you have a break you have a new extreme and you actually have a new high first entry long pullback a second entry long failure below ema i don't really know how i feel about if you feel about taking the short because remember i was looking in a bigger uptrend like this and when you're looking at this bigger uptrend you kind of don't want to go short directly into this uh into this support trend line plus price made all the way push back at the breakout area because we never retested this breakout area so this is a breakout pullback so i was really expecting a bounce here it didn't happen and then price once again came back to the breakout area retested it support is holding and this is a decent entry now and i'm only going to show you why i'm going to show you guys a five minute chart so we're right now looking at the five minute chart and this was the entry right here and you guys can see you have a new extreme you have a first entry long pullback second entry long you guys can see you have a trading range you have a breakout higher most breakouts fail the breakout fail and this is a breakout pullback by a second entry long of two key entry points uh, ema is holding support is holding trend line is holding so if you combine it with the five minute chart this is a great great entry i didn't take this trade myself personally because i, I was really confused here but now if you combine it with the five minute chart it really makes sense and price is working higher and you have a first entry short pullback second entry short failure a tempting trade but look at this one two three four five six seven bars going sideways ema is completely flat you're going along at the very highest of this congestion if you at least were buying at the low of the congestion so you got some room so i don't think this is a smart trade to take your idea is good here context is fantastic but a lot of times you can get chopped into pieces in the middle of these congestions and market kept pushing higher kept pushing higher and at this point on, i'm still focusing on a two-tier channel but we just moved way too higher excuse me to the trading range we just moved way too higher and at this point on once the uptrend is resuming you have to switch the gears and you just have to play this overall uptrend because you guys can see price keeps making higher highs higher lows ema is pointing higher so once you are in this all you're looking at is a second entry longs or felt second entry short and unfortunately you just get a bunch of first entry longs a first entry longs we get a first entry long second entry long right here but you're far away from ema horrible bar not want to take it and then you have a new extreme right here and you have a first entry long pullback second entry long at this time you don't have the trend line yet but take a look how ema is holding prices the ema is one of the key entry points and this is a higher low setup second entry long in a strong uptrend right now this is now a good entry safe that you can take a market get reversing and once again you got a first entry long far away from ema you can find this trend line at this point and you guys can see we are reaching the top of the of this upper channel and once you reach the top, top of this upper channel you're most likely heading to the bottom of the channel because channel is just like a trading range it's just a little bit slanted but and remember by by the time everything is going on here you're no longer interested first of all you're no longer interested in selling this is a strong uptrend and you're not interested in picking top it may look tempting but don't try to pick a top it is not worth it you only want to stick with longs you want to put odds on your favor because institutions are buying and you want to keep buying with them price is making congestion here and you have a first entry long pullback a second entry long right here it's coming off the trend line and you close a little bit below ema this i want to talk about something specifically i took this entry uh, myself this was the only trade that i took because it was very confusing here and i missed this trade on the limit order i played it way too safe this is a second entry long in the direction of a trend but the way i like this trade because this is a failed breakout below this congestion this is a congestion most breakouts of this congestion fail so you broke broke lower you're with the direction of a trend this is however aggressive entry this is not a high probability and i wonder if you can guess why the reason why because we're coming off the upper trend line and this was a very steep move up and it's way we're way overdone for a correction we expect a bigger correction and you may be wondering well thomas why did you took this well i but why did you take this i took this because trading is about taking a risk and this is such a small signal bar that i was like i'm going to take a risk on the second entry long off the trend line filled breakout lower 
in, with the direction of a trend and I went only for six ticks because I knew I'm taking a risk and I knew this, cor this correction is going to be much larger. So this was just a calculated risk because the, the signal bar is too small. And if you traders took this as well and they closed their orders at break even because it looked like it's not going to work. And I want to talk about this mental uh, gymnastics right here because uh, we are taking this trade solely based on this is a small signal bar and our stop loss is going to be small so we're taking a risk here and the risk is small so once you're exiting at break even what does that tell about your belief about this trade because you still don't accept the risk if you if, if you get out the break even that means that you didn't accept the risk of the trade because we we enter this trade because we are risking very little and the fact that you exit the break even or you close this trade early this tells you that you really didn't accept the risk and it was just a lip service okay and in trading you have to understand nobody is perfect no strategy is perfect anything can happen institutions can just sell for whatever reason buy for whatever for whatever reason and they can completely change the outcome of your trade so on every single trade there is a possibility of losing the only thing we do we look for high probability setups that put odds on our favor and it's not about one individual trade it's about a series of trade we don't care about the outcome of one single trade outcome of one single trade means nothing we care about the outcome of let's say a month's worth of our trading a week's work worth of our trading we don't judge our performance based on one single trade anything can happen on a one single trade so even if you take a good trade or you take a bad trade you didn't do anything good you didn't do anything bad you know trading is about taking a chance and it's a probability this game so just something to think about you didn't accept the risk here it, it was just a lip service because in back of your mind you still didn't want to lose this trade so uh, and it's a good exercise is enter the trade place your stop loss where it belongs place your target profit where it belongs and just don't look at the screen alt tap the ninja trader alt tap your software and, and go do something else and let the trade play out because you have to force yourself and not close trades early and believe, well, stick with the plan and believe the strategy. Okay, you guys can see it barely worked for a scalp and then there was the bigger correction because we have a little overshoot, we're coming from the upper side, so we're expecting for price to reach all the way down here. And now at this point on, this is the new extreme, you have a first entry long pullback, second entry long failure. This is also first entry short, second entry short, this is a two-legged pullback and this is a break and a new extreme of the short-term uptrend multiple uh, multiple reasons for you to enter this trade this is a high probability setups ema is holding price and you guys can see on a five minute chart what happened you have this uptrend working higher you have a break new extreme so uptrend played out there's an attempt to make a new low new high you push below ema first entry long pullback second entry long failure nice bearish bar reversal pattern okay reversal pattern on a five minute chart right here and this is a second entry short, fell second entry long off the EMA. Great pattern right here because you're expecting for price to reach all the way down here. You have a first break of this uptrend working higher. And so what you have to do, you have to draw the short term correction and you push back below EMA because you would be expecting first entry short, second entry short failure. And it didn't happen, it pushed below. And once their price pushed higher and created a double top and big bearish bar, I like this trade because this is a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. You close below EMA, you still have this dodge from working lower, so you're expecting for price after break to create a new extreme. So I like this trade a lot, and I'm going to show you once again a five minute chart. This is a five minute chart, and you guys can see you have this trend line working lower, and you have a new low, first entry short, pullback higher, second entry short. Two key entry points are holding, you're still below EMA, high probability setup right here. Okay, the downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme. And now price is working to create a new high for the overall uptrend. So hopefully you guys understand what setups to look for, how you trade trading ranges, buy the lows, sell the highs, buy the lows, sell the highs. You guys hopefully understand how the reversal pattern looks like. With the trend, you're looking for second entry longs or felt second entry shorts in an uptrend. And in a downtrend, you're looking for second entry shorts or felt second entry longs. Okay, you don't need nothing complicating, no set of indicators no holy grail you just need a little bit of screen time have a trader's mindset and you will uh, be profitable okay so i'm going to talk to you next time take care bye